Are you sick of duffing your chip shots around the green, struggling to make par, hitting them fat and thin and just don't know what to do to hit those solid, well-struck chip shots? Well, in this next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to stop duffing your chip shots, make more pars and have a lot more fun playing golf. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here, where I try to make the game of golf easier for you and play the shots that you want to play. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to stop duffing your chip shots. So just when you're around the edge of the green, and help you make a lot more of those pars. So if you play the game of golf for any length of time, you know how frustrating it is if you're just on the edge of the green, hit a pretty good second shot in, you go to hit a little chip shot, I need to chunk it, blade it, and just duff it and have it fly through the edge of the green or you end up 20 feet short of the hole with no chance of saving your pass. So I know when I first started playing golf, one of the things I was told with chipping was, and you probably heard very similar advice yourself, I'd stand over the ball, they'd say to me, get the ball, the back of my stance like this, have plenty of shaft lean, and I'd be in some sort of position like this, and that was the most effective way to chip the ball. Now, you can get away with chipping doing it this way, but it's, unless you're a highly skilled player, the problem with having the ball so far back and forward shaft lean is you expose the leading edge of the club. And when you expose the leading edge of the club like that, you leave yourself open to hitting a lot of bladed and thin and just a lot of chunk shots. Because if you're in a position like this, You've really got to time it just perfectly to hit it solid and get that ball rolling towards the flag. And if you're a higher handicap, even a mid handicap, that can be quite challenging. So if I demonstrate one for you, if I've got that weight back and that shaft down like that, I've really got to focus on get my timing right. And usually it comes through with a lot of top spin because I'm not utilizing the part of the club that I really want to utilize when it comes to chipping. And that's this bounce area, this flat part of the... You really want to be making sure that this part strikes the ground when you're hitting that golf ball. Now, if you've got your hands forward, you've got very little chance of utilizing that bounce area of the wedge. It makes it extremely difficult. So that's the wrong way to do it. So what's the right way of doing it? So what I like to do so I've got a ball here. I like to set up with the, the position of the ball right about in the middle of my stance. So now I have a very narrow stance too. I only like to have my feet sort of, I don't know, about a club head and a, and a half width apart, fairly narrow. I have a little bit of knee flex. And I like to get my club just a fraction lean forward like that. Not a lot, I don't have it necessarily straight, but I like to have just a little bit of lean forward there. Got my knees meant fairly narrow stance as I said. I have a little bit more pressure on my lead side and I'll just have the club sitting there nicely like that. I have my arms hanging down like that and that's a really good setup position to help you execute the stroke because when you've got it set up like that I've got a great chance of utilizing that bounce area to hit the chip shot a lot solid. Now the other issue I mentioned with the old the old method of having the the ball in the back of the stance and the shaft leaning forward is, is that quite often when you do that, you don't turn your body at all. And to hit really effective chip shots so you don't duff them, you need to be able to turn. And this old method of doing it this way, you pretty much just did this. And you'll see there, my lower body, nothing's really turning towards the target. Now to hit an effective chip shot around the green, you need to turn your body towards the target on the follow through. It's really important to help you make that crisp, solid contact with your wedges or whatever club you're using around the green. So it's really important once you've got that set up and you come back, you turn your body so your belt buckle is pointing towards the target. Now, another key thing that I like to do is when I'm set up under the ball, I don't think about initially what the club head's doing. I focus more on what the handle is doing. And what I mean by that is I don't, I don't like to see excessive 
wrist cock or wrist hinge like that because I find if you do that you have a lot more timing issues and it's a lot harder to use that bounce area at the bottom of the wedge to hit those solid crisp chip shops. So what I like to do I like to focus on keeping that handle straight there so it's just past that lead thigh and then straight back again so it's past that lead thigh. I don't let the club head overtake the handle. The handle the handle essentially is winning the race and the club head sort of I don't know that they keep on about par with each other all, all the way through at the chip so what I don't want to see happen is that club head flip over like that and sort of win the race of the golf ball. I like to keep that focus on that handle and back and through and this would be this is really effective for chip shots anywhere around sort of I don't know 10 20 yards um, sort of just around the edge of the green anything within that range this will work really effective and, and it's similar to pitching but I'll be doing that for another video but for chipping just around the edge of the green this is great for doing it that way so so the key takeaways here are and I'll demonstrate how to do it in just a second we get our narrow stance ball in the middle of our stance knees plenty of knee flex want the handle that's set up to be slightly forward and during the stroke we want the handle moving back and the handle moving through we want to turn our body making sure that belt bucket is towards the target when we finish so we want to go something like that the club head should be pointing towards the target with your arms so you should end up in a position like like this with your arms and the club are pointing towards the target you don't want to be in a position like this with the club heads pointing down there somewhere and that'll make sure you can strike those chips a lot more effective so i'm going to demonstrate one here for you so let's get our set up got our narrow stance knee bend we've got the handle slightly forward and we're just going to swing through and turn towards the target get that handle back first there we go look at the way we finished club head down the target line arms forward that belt buckle was spun right around pointing in this direction I made really good solid contact with that chip shot probably went about I don't know about 20 yards or so so that was a really nicely struck chip shot and if you follow that you won't hit a lot of those duff chip shots around the green that cause a lot of inconsistency and make it really difficult for you to save your pars so give those tips a shot if you have any questions or comments post them below I'd love to hear your your struggles or what, what you find doesn't work well for you around the greens or maybe you've got something else that does work really effectively please let me know uh, don't forget to um, smash that like button and don't forget to follow the channel too the more subscribers I get to the channel helps me grow the channel and keep on producing videos like this once again thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time